Well deserved. 49ers start in Seahawks territory. Oh. And this catch is made by Kittle. Oh. Somehow able to come down with it. Kittle was going to come down with that. Quandre Diggs thought he had the interception. He's got five this year, thought he had the interception. And man, George Kittle just made a highlight play. God, that was very nice. Wow, 41 yards. Third down and seven. A little flip here to Ayuk, the rookie from Arizona State. And he'll bust it inside the 20 and the 10. And look at that. He hurdles his way into the end zone. Touchdown over Marcus Epps. There is a kid who led the nation last year in yards after the catch. This is why they drafted Ayuk. He is just a mini version of Debo Samuel. When you watched him in college, he did this stuff all the time, even in practice. Watch this. That's spectacular. Looks like Skeets Nehemiah going into the end zone. Not even a touch. Can you imagine being on the other side of that thing with Marcus Epps and not even getting a touch of Ayuk on this one? Holy cow. And maybe now just get a little more space away from your own end zone here as he tosses it out to Jarek McKinnon. And McKinnon is able to find a lane and break free. His nickname is Jet. He turns on the Jets to get all the way down inside the 40-yard line. Have a longer play like you do here first and 15. Off play action deflected and intercepted by Jaquaski Tart. Tart. Inside the 25 and DeAndre Hopkins there to help bring him down. Dre Greenlaw got the deflection. He's back. He's missing a couple of plays. Fake here and then the pass to the outside. Kittle does a spin around. Look at how tough he is to bring down. And that is Kittle. I mean, when you think about it, as a flag comes in at the end, Niners want to have that run pass option. Now they're going to the line of scrimmage quickly and getting it going. Well, play action, spinning around, looking, avoids a sack for the moment, throws, and it is Al Shair who comes up with the ball. Did he catch it legally is the question. He thinks he did come down and celebrate, but. Really on the field is an interception. First down San Francisco, timeout. <laughs> Garoppolo to throw. Mostert with an opening. Mostert's got great speed and nobody in front of him. Raheem Mostert is going to take it to the house, galloping in for a 76-yard touchdown. Well, it's a, it's a little bit different ball game. One thing you can't do is put your eyes on the quarterback and man-to-man. -man. It takes discipline. It takes understanding. The free safeties run out. So if you don't make the tackle after you that's almost automatic, those two. The statistic you, you'll never see. They're going for it on fourth and goal, and the pass will be intercepted in the end zone. Verrett. Jason Verrett was able to take it off and go right to the screen to celebrate. 49ers stop the drive, get it back, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Mostert flanking Garoppolo. Hand it off to Samuel. They do that a lot. Run the wideouts, and Samuel thinks he was not tackled. He still takes off and gets all the way down to the 35 yard line, and everybody's moving in that direction. So even though it looked like Samuel was down, he might have been on top of somebody. If he didn't hit the ground, it's still alive, and it's a 35 yard gain. And they're going to the line without a huddle. It's not Gore, it's Adams is the back. Adams gets the call and he is stopped. Barely made it back to the line of scrimmage and that 49er defense, even without a couple of their key cogs, they get the two you know, other causes, really whatever you want to support, yeah. so support, which is really a nice gesture. Yeah, really cool. On first and 10. Here's Mullins loaded up for the deep shot and it is caught. Brandon Ayuk. For the big play for the 49ers, 49 yards. Look, it's just a nice route as far as stemming the DB inside and then breaking it back outside. And you see the adjust to the ball in the air. How he has to turn his body all the way around as that ball's. Four-man rush. Jones with pressure. Throws and it's intercepted. Fred Warner has the pick. And the 49ers set up with great field position. Added some time, 36 seconds. 
Now here's the deep, deep ball, and it's over the head of his receiver and picked off. It's Mosley. How big a return can he put on it? He's going to reverse field. He's got some space over here. He's got a chance to get them set up for something before the half with 15 seconds. What a return by Emmanuel Mosley as Newton is intercepted for the second time in this. Putting in another long drive. Eighth play of it on the fake. Coming back. Ayuk's got it with blockers. Ayuk makes a cut. Looking for the end zone, and he's in. Touchdown, San Francisco. 19 yards, and boy, did he get some terrific. McKinnon has come in as the running back. Grappolo able to shake free, and he fights for that first down. Able to, oh, to kind of force that extra look. Goff, a delayed rush. He's going to keep and take on Ward. And the ball comes out, and the 49ers have it. Kerry Hyder going the other way. Hopkins at the top of your screen. Murray looking the other way, looking end zone for Kirk, and it's picked off. Witherspoon in the end zone. It's the second straight week. Kyler Murray has thrown an interception in the end zone. And for Akello Witherspoon, it's his first INT of the year. If you're Christian Kirk and this ball is being thrown in your direction, you commit offensive pass interference. You do not let Witherspoon pick this ball off. Yes, it's underthrown. No, it's not a good throw but you make sure that this ball ends up in your hands or on the ground. That's the fourth career interception for Witherspoon, the fourth year man out of Colorado. And Robert Sala, what a day for his defense. Member of the 30K, 5K club, passing and rushing. It's one of those stats you want to have on a day that you're playing great and winning. And not throwing a third pick. <laughs> That one hurts right there. Goff to throw. Hit as he throws and it's intercepted. It's another 49er takeaway. That's the rookie Kimball into the end zone. 49er touchdown. They forced this this errant throw. And you, you're gonna see right now. They get up in the face, they get pressure on Jared Goff, he gets hit while he's throwing the football, and Kinlaw makes... Got a knee that's making him far from 100%. Oh, that's killing him too, because he's... Just the wrong four. Four. Look who's wide open, reels it in, Ayuk! Look at that adjustment, he checked to make sure where he was in relation to the sideline, makes the over-the-shoulder grab. Well, watch down here, you're going to see a kind of a pick. But not really a pick. I'm going to pick you. I'm going to pick you. Switch, switch, switch. No switch. The communication. And that starts before the snap, usually. If you put two guys in a bunch and they're really close together, you're like, hey, be prepared to switch this on a pick play or anything. But you hit it in stride. Quick snap. Goff protected in the pocket, but has to go underneath. The ball comes out, and the 49ers are on it. Brown had it, caught it, lost it at Kevin Givens. Quick pass, safety will has it. Breaks tackles, first down 49ers. And they're going quick on fourth and two. They're already three for three on fourth down. Clog up those run lanes for Murray. Murray's pass is batted down by Warner. Fred Warner runs right over the sideline where Robert Sala goes up high. Zach Moss fumbles the football. Came right out of his hand, looked like a bad exchange. And the 49ers say they have it. What a wild start to this one. And they do. And the pass is caught and on the run. It's Kittle off to the races for the touchdown. Brandon Staley calls for the blitz and gets burned on a 44-yard fourth down pass. The field. They've got everybody up, assuming they're going to try and run, they're going to blitz, they're going to attack. Garoppolo on that bad ankle, is he going to hang in there? Yes, sir, he did.
huge play there by Kittle. One of the best catch and run guys that there is. No way George Kittle is going to go down. One person <laughs> rarely tackles him anyway. What a huge decision there by Kyle Shanahan and brilliant execution. So the Rams not used to except for one time this year. Casey, thank you for all of that. Third and five. And it's intercepted. It's Taylor with his second of the game. Smith from the pocket. And intercepted at the 36. He's going to try to hit Cam Sims here. He stretches. He does his job. But for Rhett, he's playing with vision. And he's playing the seam route. And he just turns back and gets in front of Cam Sims and comes up with a... Beathard on third and 14, fires downfield, looking for Richie James, who makes the catch in Seahawks territory. Brady Mostert will get the toss. And some pretty good space right away. San Francisco and Raheem Mostert, are you kidding me? 80 yards all the way on the toss play. And just like that, the 49ers have the lead. He goes and gets his man. Everyone is locked in. And Raheem Mostert, Big Ten track champion. You're never going to catch him in the open field. Leading this game 6 0, third down and eight. Wilson Ooh. under pressure. He talked about Fred Warner when we spoke with. Neither one of these teams wants to have to throw the ball 15 out of 20 plays. Here's the 11th play for the Patriots. It's intercepted by Warner. We just got to keep him that way to the postseason. <laughs> yeah. And then in the offseason, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> On third down, pass to a wide open Richie James, makes a move, and will walk into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, they have left Richie James alone quite a bit tonight, and this time... 41 yards in a score. These two defenders right here. Here's Richie James, and he's going to just, you know, come off the ball and run a go route. They both jump, you know, the inside guy. So they miscommunicate. It opens it up along that sideline then for Richie James. Just, just too easy. So they've had a hard time really getting a much goal. Goff. Intercepted. It's... Richard Sherman, another welcome back for the 49ers. And in his first game back after being injured in week one, sets up the 49ers. They have the lead, they have the football. Uh, kind of almost a flip play and give it to him on the inside handoff. Instead, the rookie. And Hasty is in for a touchdown. There's only 5'8", so it took a while, but eventually he's, he squirmed through and somehow got into the end zone. What a hit by Bobby Wagner and Hasty just being able. Watch this hit right here, but watch the reach across by Hasty. Look at, bam, right in there, but he sticks the ball out just crossing the goal line. What great awareness by the rookie running back. Here it is. Watch it. That's a goal. That's a touchdown. He gets the ball over the top there, but really nice play either way by that rookie, Hasty. In Los Angeles, it's up there. It's out there. It's good. And the 49ers beat the division-leading Rams on the final play. 23-20 on the boot from Robbie Gold and the Saints. Second down and ten. Beathard out of the backfield, has time, and will rip this downfield, and the jump ball caught! Born catches! As time expires, just fun to see that, doesn't make a difference. It's a 49-yard touchdown pass on the final play of the game. Pretty to watch, but the outcome is in the books. Well, and that was about, that ball traveled nearly 65 yards in the air. Heck of a throw by C.J. Beathard. <laughs> Born going up and getting it.